Mayor Graves, thank you very much for the kind comments. I appreciate it. Although every so often I get a feeling that introductions like that are a rehearsal for an obituary. Uh, but I am glad, however, that you emphasize the uh, local government. Uh, having been governor for eight years, but I was uh, for 23 years a local elected official. And I, and I make sure this is known up front because otherwise some local officials say, you know, what is this governor coming in here telling us what to do? Uh, and so I, as one unnamed former national official used to say, I feel your pain uh, as you go through uh, making a lot of these uh, different decisions. It's really an honor uh, for me to be here with you this morning and I appreciate uh, the invitation and I'm excited about the conversations that I'll be having with different groups uh, throughout the course of the day. Uh, you have really at your fingertips all of the ingredients of a successful regional collaboration. Uh, this mayor's caucus is very important. It's a forum for uh, communication, uh, exchange of ideas. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mayor Graves and, uh, for the leadership that she has given and Carl Dean, whose uh, leadership on some of these issues is uh, known uh, even on the East Coast. Uh, the, um, I would also say that the organizations, uh, to be able to uh, pull out of these issues together with uh, energetic uh, advocates, uh, like Bridget Jones with the Cumberland Regional Tamar uh, and Michael Skipper who's doing such a wonderful job as well. And in fact, it's a uh, uh, lot of the discussions in terms of, of uh, how you might move ahead and funding mass transit come out of these type of meetings. Uh, I'm also pleased that uh, if you really look at the collaboration that went on to pull this together to have me down here is because these regional groups are working together. Let me, to put things in perspective a little bit, uh, set sort of a national, but also right here, a uh, series of challenging things that we're facing. These are really challenging times. Uh, families struggle to ha hang on to their homes uh, and worry about retirement and health costs. Energy costs shred household budgets. Uh, there are serious questions about the nation's ability to shift economic gears. Climate change threatens uh, to reshape our physical, economic, and political uh, geography. Now this could be a very bleak picture, uh, but as White House Chief of Staff Ron Emanuel puts it, uh, we shouldn't let a serious crisis go to waste. Uh, and to some extent, uh, that's what this is about. People are rethinking how they do things, uh, what the future is going to look like. Your presence here uh, tells uh, me and others that uh, you indeed are not letting this crisis go to waste. In fact, by organizing as a region, uh, you are mobilizing yourselves to, to address the problems that we just mentioned in the most effective manner. In approving new options to fund local transit, uh, Tennessee joins a national wave. Uh, I must, uh, we can come back to some questions and all later on if you like, but uh, just as an example, the November elections uh, last year, uh, an interesting uh, phenomenon uh, in that uh, three-fourths of all the referenda that were taken to the voters, uh, 34 referenda, uh, three-fourths of them were approved by the voters, approving $75 billion of new uh, revenues uh, for uh, transit. And those were all local revenues, not counting state or federal uh, match. Whether it's because of higher gas price, a desire to reduce uh, carbon emissions, uh, or a growing appreciation of the economic development potential of excellent transit services, voters and their elected representatives across the country are putting real money uh, into transit. Mobilizing as a region to do this is not easy. Even here, where you've embraced an earlier wave of regionalism by consolidating Nashville and Davidson County, even so, the culture of interjurisdictional relations uh, is a tremendous hurdle all across uh, this country. Now, I, I heard a story recently that really emphasizes some of what we've got to look at, about two people uh, sitting in a boat together in the open sea, uh, each sitting on their own bench, facing one another across the deck. Uh, one person starts digging a hole under his seat, uh, slowly at first, but eventually chopping uh, through the deck and into the body of the boat. The person across uh, the deck looks at the digger and thinks perhaps he should say something, perhaps he should walk over 
uh, and tell his seatmate that uh, they shouldn't be doing this, Af but then decides not to because after all he does not want to overstep his bounds. Uh, instead, he makes a simple recommendation that he ought to stop digging a hole in the bottom of the boat. The digger responds by saying, this is my seat, my area, uh, you worry about your seat and your area. Uh, and so he goes back and sits down. A short time later, uh, not surprisingly, the boat sinks uh, to the bottom of the ocean. Now this is the kind of uh, overall situation we have in regions just about every place. If we do not find ways to cooperate with, uh, with each other or find ways for regional governance, uh, not just recommendations, but some way to bring programs to fruition uh, to ensure compliance, recommendations will be ignored and we'll all end up in the same boat, except I guess at this time uh, at the bottom of Percy Priest Lake. Now, when you, when you think about this, I mean, there are a lot of recommendations within a region uh, and the tough part uh, the really tough part goes from moving from the plans, moving from the recommendations to the actual implementation. Uh, those of you in this room are here today because you know that your futures are linked, uh, but how far are you willing to go really becomes part of the question. The mayor of Denver, a, a wonderful gentleman, some of you may know him, John Hickenlooper, uh, has demonstrated the power of truly regional uh, thinking. Along with several area mayors, Mayor Hickenlooper met with executives from a multinational uh, mining company uh, after the company announced that it was relocating uh, to Denver. And you see his quote uh, up here from one of the newspapers where he said that he really doesn't care if the headquarters is in Bloomfield, Lakewood, Denver, or Aurora. He told the people, your employees are going to live all over. We just want to make sure that your company relocates to that metropolitan area. The uh, CEOs were stupefied by this, uh, even caught a little bit of flack from some of the citizens that said, no, we want it here. Uh, but uh, he was absolutely right uh, about coming to the area. And I, I must emphasize, and Mayor, you, you talked very briefly about this in your comments, but when people are sitting in London deciding where they're going to expand a business in North America, uh, I hate to say this to you, but they don't actually stop and think, I'm going to be in Nashville, or I'm going to be here, or I'm going to be there. They think in regions. Uh, Fairfax County, Virginia thinks that the whole world is looking at it. The whole world is actually looking at the Washington region uh, and thinking about uh, location. Mayor Hickenloop, Hickenlooper uh, did not become this enlightened uh, overnight. Uh, Denver is an excellent example of how a regional vision based on regional transit system evolves over decades. When the first light rail opened in 1994, uh, there was a supportive business community, active redevelopment work that resulted in great neighborhoods now known as Lodo for lower downtown, a regional governance structure, uh, lovingly there called Dr. Cog, which I think was a great PR move, uh, to do that, uh, but saying for Denver Regional, obviously, and an active uh, advocacy effort. And I, I hope you stop and think about each of these components, the support of business community, redevelopment project that people can actually see, uh, regional governance structure, uh, at, an active advocacy group, uh, and I would add to that increasingly some sense of urgency. Uh, they took decades to evolve to the point uh, that they are today. Uh, I would suggest uh, very strongly uh, that we do not have decades with the changing world economy, uh, with the changing energy sustainability, uh, and several other major issues.